Hey, hi everyone, this is Gail here from uh, IMM Academy and I just want to share something with you today that, uh, well, it's just a bit of an update on a plugin that I have been um, shouting about for years. And so um, what I want to do is just show you something. Firstly, I wanted, it's about pinging and how to ping your site. And so what I decided to do was to go to Google and to find out what pinging is so I can give you a really intelligent uh, answer to that question and uh, you know what happened is I put what is pinging your website and guess who comes up but me there and me down here and no matter what I put in about pinging um, all my stuff came up which was really interesting <laughs> and so what is pinging it's just a way of getting out information about your website or maybe your latest blog post you've done whatever it is uh, into all these different uh, kinds of websites and engines and directories whatever and so um, there are two ways of doing it well it's probably more but let's just concentrate on two and um, one of them is I use this here called pingler.com so every time I do a new uh, blog post then I just ping it out in other words um, here's the IMM Academy here now what I can do I know you can't see the address but so I have the IMM Academy here and what I want to do let's say is ping this out so I can use pingler.com and I can go in here and I can put in my URL and I'll put up here IMM Academy it's probably going to come up yes and then I'm going to put in here uh, education this time and what it's going to do is it's going to ping this information out to all these different websites okay or blog posts or whatever they are and uh, it doesn't really matter okay it doesn't you don't have to get technical because otherwise it'll slow you down you just do what you're told and <laughs> and you need to ping so what happens is um, the catcher code wasn't correct and I hate it when it does that so let's just do it again and uh, we'll get it done properly and let's go here to education and let's just pause it for a moment while I do this okay so I got that right and now it's away and it's just installing the pings all right now I use this service after I've actually built the website or I've done the new blog uh, post whatever it is um, I said that I'll use this maybe a couple of days later whatever it is and uh, so what I want to show you is how you can use a WordPress plugin to do it for you after you it will actually ping it out as soon as you've done the blog post so I'm just going to go and add it in so I'll just go get it so just a moment while I do that it's the normal way okay and I'll put a link so that you can download this yourself so there's no issues on finding it alrighty so I'm just going to um, install it so it was on my hard drive so I've just gone and browsed it now I'm going to install it and then I'm just going to set it up really quickly so activate the plugin and I'm just going to pause it while I go away and fill in the details because it will want me to uh, fill in a few details let me just see if it's going to do that so we'll go here and this is what you probably have to do if you've never used it before okay well because I've already used it before it's already come up other than that if you click on it down the side then um, you'll need to go in and set it up and uh, just put your name and email and etc but here's the beaut thing for this now so you come in here and there is nothing in here there are no websites in here and all you have to do is click here and it will populate it for you now these are the current sites that are working right now and so after you do a blog post this will do automatically it will send out your blog post to all these different places all these different websites etc so that's pretty simple now what you have to do here is enable it so you can just look question marks just hover and it'll tell you what to do limit excessive pinging so one time every 30 minutes so if you're updating your blog post you know you update it and then you go oh there's another mistake another mistake you don't want it to continually ping it out every time you update that particular blog post so you need to limit it here and I've got one time every 30 minutes which is good for me and so um, that's all you really need to do and you save the settings and um, and then you can ping it out um, so we'll go here ping it out are you sure you want to ping these services pinging too often could get you banned all right well it hasn't pinged out for a while so I can go OK and it'll just go ahead and ping that out um, and it'll do it automatically for you all right so when I use the other pinging services like Pingler and there's Pingo there's a whole pile of them I use these for after 
So some would say, well, how often do you have to ping these things out? Well, you can ping your particular website or your blog post maybe once or twice a week. It's, um, I don't really know exactly, but sometimes I, I'll uh, ping my blog out, my blog post out maybe a couple of times a week. So just try it, but don't do it too often or you'll get yourself banned and you don't really want to do that. So I've got lots of articles written on my website about pinging and uh, I will link that to you so you can see how to do it. So that's about all I have to say. It's a great little plugin and uh, the reason I love it this time around is because it pre-populates. And uh, so you just click on that little button there and it'll populate it for you. Please make sure you set these things up down here. All right, so that's all done and that's all I have to say. And thank you for watching the video. Have a great pinging week. Bye-bye.